Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Gabe with another fan TV, man. That's the only intro you're going to get. Look, we'll get right into it, man. The Ravens collapse once again. Uh, this time with the Buffalo Bills. The Ravens are winning 20-3. to The Bills end up scoring 20 straight points, and the Ravens lose 23-20. to um, So, a lot to talk about in this game. But first, we want to start off with that. Uh, I thought J.K. Dobbins looked good, right? I thought that was fine. I thought J.K. Dobbins had a good game. I don't feel like J.K. Dobbins was used enough. Um, when needed, and um, yeah, that's that's probably the main positive of offense. Uh, you know, Lamar Jackson did his thing at times. You know, sometimes he missed some throws. If we're going to be completely honest about Lamar Jackson. I love him. To me, he's still the MVP of the league. Um, I don't feel as though we got his best showing throwing the football today. I feel like he showed on a couple throws and things of that nature. Um, now, uh, you got we got to see the all twenty two to see what was going on down the field, see if guys were open, but um. But yeah, you know, disappointed from the offense, honestly. After the after a hot start, it looked like the offense never got in rhythm at all. Um, you know, the you know, the Bills throw a pick first drive, Marlon Humphrey, everybody's high, everybody's high, you know, high up. You know, the stadium's going crazy. Um after that, the offense is moving the ball, but it's like we needed to get touchdowns. We needed to get touchdowns. And just touchdowns weren't happening. Um which kind of leads me to my second point. The referees were god off with this entire game, um, biased towards the Bills. I'm not going to be completely honest. I'm not going to say the referees had any hand in the game, nothing like that. I'm not going to go that far. I'm just saying there was a lot of bad calls uh, made, and a lot of these bad calls affected the Baltimore Ravens. We can start off in the first half with that Mark Andrews OPI. Bad call. You're never going to see that call. Mark Andrews, Mark Andrews runs his route and places his hand on the DB. That's not even enough for incidental contact, let alone uh, pass interference. Ravens stall out on that job and got to kick three, okay? Um, late in the game, you got the Brandon Stevens roughing the passer call on Josh Allen. There's really nothing he can do. He's running full speed at Josh Allen. Josh Allen decides to throw the ball into the dirt and then looks up and points at the referee like he's going to call it. Frustrating, okay? Um... Can't blame this entire game on referees. I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not going to be a fan like that. Uh, but I will say that the referees should be ashamed of what they did out there today. Um, the calls were were not good. Not And this is not even just on some Ravens fans' bias. I, I swear it's not. The calls were really simply not good. Obviously, the Ravens did get some calls their way. You know, they got a couple passing the fans that were valid and things of that nature. I'm not saying like, the referees didn't call any penalties on Buffalo. But... Uh, let's talk about the Jordan Poyer, right? I believe that's first half as well. Jordan Poyer, obvious defensive pass interference, gets there to Demarcus Robinson well before the ball arrives. Bumps him completely before the ball arrives. No call, but we want to call Mark Andrews on the, on the other side. Okay? All right. That's pretty much it for referees. I'm not going to keep giving referees energy. Like I said, I'm not going to be that kind of Ravens fan. They were god-awful this game, and they deserve to be called out on it, though. Okay. Uh, Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen was a liability all game. He was bad in coverage once again. Uh, he did what I said for the pregame notes was to blitz Patrick Queen and to spy Patrick Queen. Now, he did, they didn't spy him a whole lot, but they blitzed him several times, and he did get home. He did get home. But this is the downside of Patrick Queen. He drops another interception. You could say, yeah, it was a tip. It was a difficult play. Beautiful, all right? If you want to be a big time linebacker, if you want to get paid like a first round pick, just wants to get paid off their second contract, you make that play. This is the second week in a row, Patrick Queen has a chance to make a game changing play and drops the ball. Okay? Though I'll train the camp, I've been reporting things. Joe oh, Patrick Queen's hands are better. He's doing better in pass coverage. I need to see it. Where is it? I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. The Ravens collapse once again, right? Okay. Adafi Owe had a sack this game. He had a he had a strip fumble this game on Devin Singletary. He did a lot of good things, but big time playing the game. Last drive, it's time to bring down Josh Allen, and it looks like Big Ben versus the Ravens um, all over again. We in the backfield, but we can't get down to the ground. I like what I saw from Adafi Owe for large parts of this game. Uh, he got his first sack of the season, like I said. He got a strip sack, not strip. I'm sorry, a strip fumble. Uh, Devin Singletary, he made some big plays out there. But at the end of the day, the Ravens once again have not played a full 60 minutes of football. And I'm tired of saying it. I'm tired of saying it. 
When is this when is this team gonna put together a complete effort? First quarter, good. First half of the second quarter, fine. They tail off, Bill start to get momentum, going to half 20 to 10. Third quarter, dead, flat. I don't see anything from the Ravens. Offensively, defensively, the defense played their best game of the season, probably, and they're not going to get anything for it. All right. At the end of the game, they said that Marcus Witt, no, I'm sorry, Marcus Peters and John Harbaugh were yelling at each other, or at least that Marcus Peters was yelling at John Harbaugh because this team was utterly confused about what to do at the end of the game, whether or not they're going to let the Bills score or whether or not they're going to tackle him and, and, and try to keep him out of the end zone, which is pure idiocy. John Harbaugh, that's on you. The Ravens call timeout. You get your guys together and say, hey, look, guys, look. And game clock in situation right now, if they throw the ball out to the sideline or wherever, and we, we get a chance, let them score. Drag their ass into the end zone if you got to. Let them score. But that clearly wasn't communicated to the team because I'm looking at guys, some guys letting them score, some guys trying to make the tackle. That's on hardball. That's coaching. It's not like the Ravens had no timeouts and John Harbaugh couldn't interject and tell the guy what the game plan was. Marcus Peters was frustrated and yelling at John Harbaugh for a reason. Okay? This team, man, that's two home games. That's two collapses. That's unacceptable. The Ravens, people used to come to the bank and it used to be a place where the Ravens, you knew he was going to get something today from this team. I, I'd rather watch the Ravens play on the road. They don't protect home. I think that's what, four or five now straight home losses for the Baltimore Ravens? When have you heard that? This team is a good team. This team has talent. They have potential. They don't play a full four quarters. And you're not going to get anywhere not playing a full four quarters of football. It's just not going to happen, okay? We can talk about the referees, everything like that. They don't play a full four quarters of football. Now, I talked about the defense, talked about some guys on there. <coughs> Offense, I got to mention Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman, you want to be wide receiver one. You want to be the guy on this team. Catch the football. This, this energy we have for Hollywood Brown, we got to have for Rashad Bateman too. Right? That's three today. That's three today. Quick slant on third and eight. Drop. Big play right there. They keep catch that ball. He's probably running for another 15 yards. That's a big play right there. Ravens got a punt. All right. Now, he was injured. Obviously, I'm not blaming no injuries on him as part of the game. It happens. But when he was in the game, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. This is, and also, I'm going to say this. We can talk about John Harbaugh deciding to go forward on the two-yard line in the game. You can say it was the wrong call. That's fine. I'm not going to argue with you about that. Greg Roman drew up a play that got open. Lamar didn't hit the guy. All right. Now, we can say it was pressure in the space, and that's, right. that's fair. That's valid. But they ran a little, they ran a little bunch mesh concept. That would do when they corner the end zone. Almost similar to the play that was that happened versus the Patriots. He's wide open. That would do when they wide open, okay? And that's that's just a fact. He was there, he doesn't get hit, and it is what it is. Now the Ravens turn the ball over on downs. And I know we want to say uh pressure, like I said, but he's open. Um, what else? Greg Roman can't escape this either. He can't. I'm sorry. I saw a Thomas out there. Rashad Bateman is hurt. The Ravens go three tight ends and one wide receiver in a passing situation. And then that pass leads to Lamar dumping it off of J.K. Dobbins in the backfield. He loses three yards. Now we want to bring the receivers in the game on third and, and forever. You got. You can't be serious, man. You can't. The Ravens make so many mental errors and mistakes. It's not funny, bro. This team is a good team. But they don't have it up here. That's what I'm seeing. And that comes down to coaching. It's too many errors, mental errors, and coverage. I'm saying Patrick, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Marcus Peters and, and, and Chuck Clark look at each other while a pass to Dawson Dallas gets completed over the top of their head. 
This team has talent. They got to put it together, bro. They got to put it together. This game was frustrating to no end from the referees to the way the defense played um, at, at, at the end of the game, at least. The defense, the defense has to feel hard done by. They do. They got the turnovers. They got the stops. They had the energy today. And the offense couldn't score, couldn't convert enough in the red zone. That game should have been, so what, 20? Maybe got to two. That, that game probably should have been 28-3. But we couldn't convert in the red zone, right? Now, obviously, some of that has to do with, once again, that the bad, bad pass interference call on Mark Andrews. But this team is far too inconsistent, far too... Just, just, just not all there mentally, bro. Where are the leaders at? You don't collapse like this if the leaders are ready and 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 ready to go. You don't. I'm sorry. Um, this game was frustrating to no end. Uh, that's it for the rant, man. Um, the Ravens lose to the Buffalo Bills, 23 to 20. The Ravens have lost two home games this year. That both games that they have barely dominated both games and they have lost both games. Um. You, you want to say, hey, this happens, it's football, but uh, that's just not the case, bro. That's just not the case. It shouldn't have happened. Ravens should be 4-0. They're 2-2. Two two. Uh, the only good news for the Ravens is the rest of the division is 2-2. Two two. It's the only good news. Uh, Steelers lost today. Browns lost today. Bengals did win, but that win only brought them up to 2-2. Two two. So now they go into this Bengals matchup, Sunday Night Football. It's time to show out again. And that's it, man. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments about the game. Very frustrating game for the Ravens to do that once again. But it is what it is at this point. Uh, I'm out, man. It's your boy Gabe with just on the fan TV, man.